Hello folks, Steve Sebastian with EnviroSite. I'm one of the sales representatives at EnviroSite. At EnviroSite, we have a wide array of inspection equipment from pole cameras to push cameras to jet cameras and also mainline camera systems. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. In front of you is the Rover X130, which is our medium sized crawler in a family of three. There's a smaller version and a larger version. This is our workhorse though. This is what 90% of our customers buy. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the Rover X and its four main components. They are here, the controller, the reel, the crawler itself, and the camera. I'm also going to put them into the design factors. There's three factors that we take in mind when we design every one of our pieces of equipment. And they are performance, reliability, and ease of use. As I go through these four components, what I'd like to do is talk to you about how each one of them fit into those different design segments and why we did what we did. Starting with the cable reel. So this is an automatic cable reel. When we got into the industry, we found that everybody looking for a more reliable system, we began to investigate all the other crawler systems that were out there, and we found there was one design flaw. And that was, it had, they, those systems have a lot of drag coefficient. So it became our purpose to go out where if we remove the drag coefficient, we can increase the performance. If we're increasing the performance, by physics tells us the system's gonna be more reliable because it's not working as hard. So everybody takes a look at our system and they see our cable reel and they're a little bit nervous about it because bigger is supposedly always better. Well, in this case, that's not true. The reason that you see some of the bigger reels in the industry is because they have a bigger cable. So when you look at our cables, a lot of people are fearful of the cable. Do not, do not mix size and strength. This is a very strong cable. But because of its size, it reduces the drag coefficient on the crawler, which allows it to perform better. Also, this is an automatic cable reel. We're not asking the crawler to do two functions, not crawl up the pipe and drag the cable. It's being fed to it by the cable reel. Yes, obviously, at some point, there is some drag coefficient, but the lighter we can make this, if we could make it thinner and lighter, we would. Okay, but right now, this is as small as we can. But again, it cuts down on the drag coefficient, okay? So automatic cable reel feeds it. Also, on return, we don't drag. Nothing that I know of in this world professes reliability that has drag in the same statement. If you're dragging something, it's usually not very reliable. So we chose to drive back. Okay, so as we move forward on the system, automatic cable reel, the lighter cable, okay, you also notice the color of the cable. The color's orange, okay? And the reason for that is, on retrieval as we're coming back, we want to be able to see the, the cable in the sewer water, okay? So a brown or a black is not a good color choice. So to be able to profess reliability, we're taking every little nuance we possibly can to make sure that this system can say that it's going to be reliable. Hence the color, okay? We move forward, we have a swivel connector. The reason that we put that swivel connector on there is this system has to be lowered and raised, okay? It was built to run horizontal, but it has to go vertical first. So to profess reliability, we put a swivel connector on it to take the stress off the cable, okay? You look at our crawler system. We talked about performance and reliability. They go hand in hand. If it's not working hard, it's going to be more reliable. Physics tells us that. Okay, so when you look at our crawler system there, you'll see that it has six wheels. There's plenty of six wheel drive crawlers out there. But you look, it's, it's, the, it's not just how many, it's the placement of them. You see that they, are over, they overlap each other. The idea there is to create like a track footprint, okay, to be able to crawl over something so we never get high centered. If there's any space between the wheels, you would get high centered. Anytime you get high centered, that's a drag coefficient or resistance, any resistance that the crawler incurs, it's working harder. Therefore, you can't profess reliability. We take that so serious. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I didn't talk to you about back here. You notice in most crawler systems, you'll see strain relief. Okay, what is that? You do have to pull and tug on the cable from time to time, even in its lowering. When you're lowering it or raising it, there is some strain on it. Okay, if you notice, you're not seeing any strain relief on this cable. How could we possibly do that? Where are we making you try to make you believe that that connector is going to hold up to that kind of abuse? Because we're so adamant about reducing the resistance on these machines, we have taken away that strain relief and built it into 
the cable. It is actually right here. There's a large piece inside of here. When we're pulling, we're trying to draw it down a narrow funnel, effectively taking the strain off of this connector. Okay, if there's any question out there whether that works or not, would I really want to be doing this with this expensive piece of equipment? Again, back to the crawler. Again, sorry that I had to back up, but you look, the six wheel drive, you also notice there is no sharp edges. Because in the sewer, as this crawler system is running, there's a chance it may encounter something that may snag it. So even though that seems minute, again, if we want to profess reliability, we got to make sure it performs. If it's going to perform, we're going to take every little opportunity we can to cut that drag coefficient down. Okay, no different than race cars. Okay, not always does the fastest, the strongest race car always win the race. It's the one that finishes. It has to finish. That's what our design features are all about in this. That's why we have the automatic cable. I can't have a big cable. If I have a big cable, I can't have a small crawler. If I have a big cable, I have to have a big reel. In, in the components we have with the controller, the reel, this, this is completely portable. You see it mounted today in a transit, a Ford Transit. We put them in box trucks, we put them in trailers, we put them in the back of ATVs. That's the beauty of a systematic system such as this. Small cable, small reel, portable, also truck mounted will do the job every single day. Okay, I'm gonna step quickly into the camera. Okay, you take a look at our camera there. There's some unique functions to it. There's a high low beam light system on it so we can see far, we can see close. The machine will automatically turn its high beams and low beams off at a degree of angle, which you can set to whatever size pipe, when you're in a different size pipe, maybe you want the high beams to stay on longer in a large pipe, you want them to come off quicker in a smaller pipe, all be able to be done on this all-in-one controller, okay? Again, trying to make performance the issue. If we're making sure that you're not working too hard, we can profess reliability. That's what everybody told us they wanted. Make it easy to work, make it work, and make it reliable. That's what we've done. How did we do all that? From you folks, what you told us, that's what we built because you're the ones that run this way more than we do. I'm gonna move quickly over to the all-in-one controller. I say all-in-one and what I mean by that is it controls, it records, it views. It will even generate a software report, pictures, all the PACP data will be in there It also produces an inclination report. So if you're out doing new construction, you wanna make sure that that new pipe has been laid correctly. Not only does it have an inclinometer, all standard by the way, it also will put a graphic report together. So you're not just watching and seeing the inclinometer go up and down. You can actually graph it out and see exactly what it does all in this controller. And what you see now is I have it plugged in here to the reel. That's just so I can go back here and show you folks. But I can take this controller, move it to the office, plug it in up there, and it, we sit and we have big monitors. We're not constantly staring at something like this here. Okay? I've also laid out a few accessories for you. Again, this is a quick overview of the Rover X. Our hope is that when you're done seeing this video, that you will call one of our over 20 sales partners across the U.S., North and South America. We have facilities not only for presentation and demonstration, but also for service from coast to coast, north to south. We're hoping that you'll give one of those a call and get a more in-depth presentation and demonstration. But again, I laid out a few of the accessories. So you can see the machine that we have here, I told you it was the medium size crawler. What do I mean by that? We're gonna do from six to 36 inch pipe with the same crawler. How are we gonna do that? By adding some bigger wheels, some accessorizing to it. We're gonna add bigger wheels. We're gonna have a big remote lift system. So this goes on and we're able to raise and lower the camera, okay, for bigger pipes. Also what you see here is, I talked to you about performance, I told you about reliability, I told you we were gonna drive backwards. Well, we need to see what we're doing. There's the back eye camera. Well, when we get in bigger pipe, there's a good chance that back eye camera is gonna be underwater. So what we did was, we added a second one. So if you can envision, this would be on here, this would be up on here, okay? I talked to you about ease of use. I said I was gonna put this into three buckets, performance, reliability, and ease of use. This is a completely toolless system. 
I can take the camera off with the turn of this. The wheels, quick disconnect. They come off like that and back on. The cables, totally toolless. This accessory goes on and off exactly like the camera does. Even the second back of the camera is a snap push in place. No tools. Why? How would it be easy if you had to remember what tool to grab and where to go and how to do it all? So we constantly, constantly chase down that ease of use. It has to be easy. We don't know how many operators are going to operate this system if it's complex. Guess what happens if the guy doesn't have a it? It's a good chance he's going to break it. How do we profess reliability if we're not taking that into concern? You look at this controller system. Very, very feature loaded. The entire system is feature loaded. I'm not getting into those features. Again, we want you to call your local representative and have them come out and do a real in depth presentation of the system. But you look here, there's one button on here that turns it on and off. All EnviroSight controllers are operated in this manner. All the camera functions will be on the left, all the crawler functions will be on the right. Why do we do that? Once you learn that, you never have to learn it again. If you don't touch the system for six months, all you have to remember is if I want something that the camera, that is in regards to the camera, I should be looking on the left side of the controller. If it's the crawler, I'm going to be looking on the right. Okay? Those are what we're trying to do with the toolless, with the all in one controller to make this easy to use. I will put this in the hands of a toddler and say nothing, and I promise you. He or she will get it started, and the next thing you know, it'll be traveling across the floor. When our representative comes out, pick the least experienced guy in your crew and have him come up, put the camera on, put the cable on, turn the crawler system on, make the camera do this, turn the lights on and make it move. Technically, he could go out and do an inspection. That's ease of use. That's all I have for you folks. Please do me a favor when this is over, visit our website. Viresite.com. Be safe out there. Talk to you later.